We did this paper because we wanted to uh, describe the development, testing, and results of a new quality measure for colonoscopy that we developed for national use. The work is funded by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, and um, we did the work with expert input and public comment. And we really appreciate the opportunity to share the scientific basis for the work and our findings on variation in facility quality of colonoscopy care um, through the journal. Given the widespread use of the procedure, it is a high priority to measure and to minimize adverse events associated with colonoscopy. There are a number of known complications of colonoscopy, and these include severe complications like um, bleeding that requires emergent intervention, and also more minor complications like abdominal pain or nausea and vomiting. Um, and as a result of these complications, about 1 to 4 percent of patients uh, visit the hospital after their colonoscopy for care. We know from prior research that clinicians performing colonoscopies often aren't aware that their patients need to seek hospital care after the procedure. So we developed a quality measure for outpatient facilities performing colonoscopy. And specifically, we developed a measure that is a risk-standardized hospital visit rate within seven days of routine colonoscopy care. We include in the measure uh, Medicare fee-for-service patients who are 65 years or older and are undergoing outpatient colonoscopy. We do not include in the measure patients who have, at the same time, an upper gastrointestinal endoscopy that's high risk, um, for example, to control bleeding. And we also don't include patients with two common conditions, uh, inflammatory bowel disease or diverticulitis, because these patients are often admitted um, to the hospital after a colonoscopy for reasons unrelated to quality. We measure in the measure outcome um, any visits to the hospital, so visits to the emergency department or visits for a observation stay or an unplanned ad inpatient admission. And we use this intentionally broad outcome because we want to capture the full range of complications patients experience. We don't count admissions, however, if they are planned. So for example, if the patient has a follow-up admission to the hospital for surgical treatment of colon cancer diagnosed during the procedure, because these visits are not really a signal of quality. So um, with this group of patients and this outcome, um, we built a statistical model for fairness that adjusts for um, the differences in patient risk across different facilities. And we use uh, 15 risk variables in the model. We developed and tested this model on a national sample of Medicare patients. And this sample included about 330,000 colonoscopies. Out of this group, uh, 5,400 patients went to the hospital following their colonoscopy. That's about 16 per thousand or 1.6%. Um, and if we extrapolate from this sample, which was a 20% sample, to the full uh, Medicare population, that represents about 27,000 unplanned hospital visits nationally following colonoscopy within seven days. So once we developed the um, measure and we fully tested it, we applied it to four states in which we had a 100% sample of colonoscopies, and that was California, Florida, New York, and Nebraska. And we estimated the risk standardized scores, the measure scores, for the facilities there. And that involved about 326,000 colonoscopies at about 1,000 facilities. And the risk standardized rate um, ranged from 8.4 visits to the hospital per 1,000 colonoscopies up to 20 uh, visits per 1,000 colonoscopy. So this finding is a key finding for us because it suggests that there's a lot of variation in the rate of visits to the hospital after the procedure, even after adjusting for differences in patient case mix. And that suggests opportunity for quality improvement. The importance of the work is that we found a lot of variation in quality across facilities that suggests a lot of room for improvement. It also um, allows us to make uh, more transparent to providers and to patients the kinds of outcomes that patients experience with this extremely common often just screening procedure. And um, the, the quality measure has already been put into use by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, and we're excited that we're already moving towards uh, improving care for patients using the measure.